See Ramesh 20, I don't think for a good trader, we can, I think we don't initiate more than 40% of trades which are right. Right, suppose I am bullish say on XYZ stock. Now I buy that stock. If it goes up, it's an indication of the fact that I am right. And you know, we, we, we do what I call is pyramiding. I buy a stock at 100, I buy more at 105, I buy more at 110. So what are markets, what is trading is basically momentum. So you play momentum. So if the market is rising, wadare, wadare, it's momentum is upwards. So you buy on the rise, if markets are going down, you sell on the, uh, uh, sell on the fall. And this I don't mind, I don't indicate in long term trends and you know, medium term trends and short term trends. This applies to short term trends, medium term trends and long term trends. So you should never average a, lo uh, a losing trading position? Well, at your own cost. Never. I, at least I never do it. That's a huge mistake, isn't it? Unless or until, you know, we believe over a bad stock at 90 and I feel, you know, it's going to, go, it's going to have a big upside. And you know the fall is four five percent. I might average or temporary. Temporary, but I, as a rule in trading, I will never ever average. But uh, Rakesh, are you then saying that a good trader should have this highest position outstanding at the highest price? Absolutely. Why not? Who knows what is the highest price? It's counterintuitive, oh. though, isn't it? I mean, most people that's that profits. That's why out of one million traders, only nine, ninety or hundred really make money. What do you look for? I will look for. First of all, look for broad direction. Don't try to be an expert. Don't try to predict every move, every hour, every day. Right? Take a loss. Know how, what to stake. Right? I think this is. I think I. I mean, I feel confident to trade anywhere in the world. All what you need to have is a broad direction of the trend. Right? A very broad idea. Don't try to be an expert in it. Right? Know what to stake and when to take a loss. That means most people can't hold on to trading profits, right? Is that, isn't that the big problem? The well, it's a problem, but who knows, you know, uh, I don't know, I watch on this TV, targets, what are targets? Who can predict anything? See, when I buy a stock, there comes a level at which I also feel that the price is unreasonable. But at that moment, I'm alert. That unreasonableness has to be combined with technical, you know, technical weakness. Then only is, you know, then is only the move exhausted. So what is the profit? That means the lower tops, for example, or poor yeah. volumes or yeah. bad price action. Yeah, absolutely. Things like general that. trend. And you know, then the general belief of, you know, just believe in the market. Just go up, there's no tomorrow. Trees don't go to the sky. Yeah. Uh, that is the other thing that uh, all good traders always pronounce is know how to take a loss. Why is that so important in uh, your... Because, see, nobody can predict momentum. It can turn. We never know, you know, all big moves start with small moves. <laughs> right? And therefore, the price is the first indicator of what is coming. So if, if, I, if I do a trade, so I have XYZ stock at 100, and it goes to 120 and I buy more, no worry, by the time it's 90, it will be all squared up. First, I would like to be concerned. You know, because... I think there are not many good opportunities. If you have an opportunity, Ramesh always says, no, bet the bank. Back, back up, uh, back up. So I would like to be concentrated. Second, I never had liquidity in life. So I don't know, yaar. it depends if you think markets are overpriced. But if you have a good investment and you feel the stock is going to temporarily go down, don't sell it. That would happen. And maybe carrying 5-10% cash is always, you know, good and I would say, but I, if you ask me from the heart, no cash. Price. <laughs>